Hey, this is Michael once again for Phone Arena looking at Ubuntu Touch Preview this time running on a Nexus 4. Uh, again, as you can see, we've got the personalized menu which is only giving us the same 14 tweets received that it showed on the Nexus 7. Uh, if you pull over to the side, again, you have your you have your app list. Go and as we were saying, when you sign in to Gmail, Twitter, and Facebook, the system seems to identify as an iOS device. So the websites try to bump you into the iTunes store in order to get the app, but of course that won't do anything because you're not not on an iOS device. Uh, as you can see, things run much smoother on the Nexus 4. Uh, it's a more powerful device than the Nexus 7. So switching through you can do things a lot easier. The camera does actually work, uh, although it does not work for taking videos. It only works for taking pictures. And you can switch between the front and the rear camera, which is nice. Couldn't do that on the Nexus 7 because it just didn't work. As you can see, things are just much much smoother, much more fluid on the Nexus 4. You can switch between things. Again, can't actually change the date and time. And once you're in there, you have to swipe back out. You can't just go right back. You have the sound options again, battery options, and messages where, again, you can reply to messages straight from the from the message list. You can also just swipe theoretically. Ah, there we go. You can just swipe to get rid of these. Again, touch preview doesn't work perfectly. Things are a little a little strange. Um it does actually work for, or at least it's supposed to work, for making calls. Let's see if it does. To complete this call, you must first dial in 1 or 0 plus the area code. And yeah, it looks like it will work for, for making calls. Uh, you can jump back to the dialer. Swiping up from the bottom brings in a more detailed uh, setting screen. So right now we're in the we're in the Gmail web app. So it gives you the options as if you're in the browser. You can then switch between apps quickly or you can use a little X and close out an app that you have open. Again, you can swipe from the bottom and close out an app. Um, the dialer, very, very basic, but it works. Contacts, um, again, these are not my contacts, even though I have signed in. This is just these are just the contacts that come with the come with the touch preview. It is a little strange. Uh, it's not exactly the most intuitive way to to navigate because there are no buttons. Nothing like that. If you want to go back, you have to swipe up from the bottom in order to just get the, the back button, which is a little bit awkward. But, you know, from any of these, you can 
jump in, you can call, you can text, you can email. Uh, if they're, if the map application were able to be installed, yeah, just like on the Nexus 7, installing the available for download apps just doesn't work. But as you can see, you also have the uh, a dedicated sharing app, which will let you share. Right now, it seems to only work with Facebook, but theoretically, it'll also include Twitter uh, at a later date. Uh, here's a little bit of annoyance. The keyboard sometimes uh, won't disappear unless you get rid of that. If you just move away, it'll still be there. Let's see. And as with the Nexus 7, again, the game doesn't actually work, so can't use that. Might as well just close it. And as you can see on the home screen, ooh, sorry about that, you have your, you have the running apps, re, uh, frequently used apps, your installed apps, and then swiping left and right brings you to the video section where you can not do anything, but you know eventually you'll be able to to get in there. And again, uh, it's a little odd because it doesn't. Here you don't swipe up or swiping up from the bottom doesn't do anything. The only way to get back is to tap that there. Uh, again, just not exactly the most intuitive, but as you can see, this is a good representation of Ubuntu on a phone. It feels like Ubuntu. You know, you've got the the various icons that you know, make it feel like the dash in Ubuntu, and it's a very visual interface, things look good. Uh, as you can see, things do work much faster on the Nexus 4. Could have sworn we went to the gallery. There we go. And again, it doesn't it doesn't care just yet what what the orientation of the phone is theoretically that'll be coming in a a later version but you know you can swipe horizontally to see more photos you can swipe vertically you can jump into a photo and things work you know relatively well there's far less in terms of stuttering and lag, you know, things are still a little bit slow to open up on a Nexus 4 compared to the Nexus 7, but things do work much quicker, except apparently for the browser, which still quite a bit of lag in there. Again, it's just a, a plain WebKit browser so it doesn't work all that well. As you can see, swiping between your open apps is much, much quicker on here than it was on the Nexus 7, but still not exactly, you know, there's, there's just not a lot that you can do with the system right now because it is the touch preview. It's just, it's really just designed for developers and enthusiasts. So there's not a lot here, but if you want to play around with it, uh, we'll link to the instructions on how to load it up on your device. So this has been Ubuntu Touch Preview on the Nexus 4. Thanks for watching.